Hello, my beautiful Libras, and welcome to Let Ebony Tarot. Today, we're going to be doing your love reading. We're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, okay? Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If anyone would like to book a personal reading with me, all the info on how to do so is down below. If you'd like to follow me on my art account for my upcoming deck or to purchase anything else, or if you'd like to make a donation, everything is down below. Please do remember that the energies can go vice versa, so just take what resonates, flip the roles, flip the genders, do whatever you gotta do, okay? Um, if you're new here, welcome. How I read is I channel through the oracle, I clarify with the tarot, and if there is time at the end, we get additional messages, okay? So, my beautiful Libras, the, oh, hello, I am a Libra sun, moon, Mercury, and Mars, okay? So, quadruple, 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 quadruple Libra, that's right, yeah. <laughs> I got it times four, okay? So, the overall energy, this wanted to come in the reverse, okay? So, it would say walking away or walk away. It says limbo, confusion, uncertainty, and choices, okay? At the bottom of the deck, okay? However, we've got create with me, creation, conception, teamwork, and new beginnings. Underneath that, we have um, social media, popularity, influencer, and tech savvy, right? Okay, so i feel here there could be somebody that's watching you on social media or you could be dealing with somebody who's popular or um somebody could just be stalking you online okay so whether you're popular or not someone could be stalking you on your whatsapp or on your instagram youtube whatever it is this person is unsure of how to approach you this person wants a new beginning with you so this could be somebody who you walked away from for others of you if you're already in a connection you could be wondering whether or not you want to walk away from a person okay because there could be some sort of confusion or uncertainty going on maybe you think somebody's got somebody else or something like that there could be somebody you could think that someone's peeping someone on social media so you could be very suspicious about something for others of you i think that there could be like an opportunity in new love okay but i just feel like you're you're just very confused maybe you're already in a situation or maybe you kind of could be someone who's independent and you're used to kind of like you know being on your own or you could just be like oh, i just don't know about relationships you know should i just walk away from this connection or should i just should i give it a go okay i also feel like whoever it is someone is very sexy here okay like someone just wants to look at you and they just that's what I'm hearing, like, somebody just wants to grab you and just, mm, okay, they think you're absolutely tantalizing, okay, for some of you, your eyes are very significant, somebody really loves your eyes, red hair or, um, auburn, curly, um, I didn't mean to say curly, but curly could be very significant, I meant to say, um, ginger, red hair, ginger hair could be very significant to you as well, oh my god, oh, somebody, I just heard somebody wants to tap that ass, so, yeah, it could be a Scorpio, someone thinks you're very beautiful, my goodness, hit me on the fucking face. You know what? We're not going to start again, though, okay? We're not. We don't do edits around here, okay? We just don't have the time. That's really why. <laughs> so, what's coming towards my beautiful Libras in love? What's coming towards my beautiful Libras in love? We just want one card, please, Spirit. Just one card. I keep seeing that resurrection card, so... Definitely could be dealing with somebody from the past or someone who has Scorpio in their chart, but does not have to be. Thank you. Oh, sweet waters. That's right. It says, don't let the waters run dry. So, yeah, for some of you, you could be in a connection. Maybe it's kind of drying out and you're just thinking, should I walk away? Should I not? For others of you, you definitely could be pregnant, okay, as well. That could be a reason as to why you're thinking whether or not you can leave. For others of you, an abundance of love and an overflow of love is coming to you. Today is Venus Day, the day of love. It's Oshun's day. Oshun is in the house, okay? Letting you know, if you're thinking about walking away from a person or a situation to go to new love, I feel, feel like the universe wants you. Also, this could be reconciliation as well. For some of you, definitely dealing with a water sign or someone just has a lot of emotion for you, okay? Also, somebody has a very sweet yoni. I just got to say it, very sweet, okay? Nature's sweetness right here. For some of you, definitely could be mothers. You could have two children, okay? Or you could be dealing with the mother or father of your child. Or somebody just wants to take care of you. They want to nurture you. Definitely want to impregnate you. What do we have? Okay, Express wanted to come out and explore the layers within you. So someone is definitely watching you. For some of you as well, um, someone is watching your development, 
they think that you're very transformative they think you're you've got a lot of skills you're very creative okay with this expression card i told you red hair is very significant twist locks braids could be as well but it doesn't have to be but oh did the camera just move Get it. somebody oh my god somebody definitely wants to express some sort of emotion to you okay i'm also hearing you make me feel alive so someone is very passionate about you okay you make this person just feel like Somebody also could be thinking about if they want to leave a person, okay, to come towards you, you know? So what is coming towards my beautiful Libras in love? Water is very significant as well. I just heard water magic. So some of you could be, um, okay. All you'll ever need is already within you with the ant, the source of life here. When I mean some of you... I just heard you have heaven in between your legs, okay? Or somebody sees you as heaven. I'm hearing kundalini sex. Sorry, this is very sexual, guys, but somebody wants to create with you. They want to express how they feel about you through love. For some of you, if you are currently in a relationship, I feel like you need to spice up your romantic life a little bit more, okay? Could be saying that as well. Someone also could be calling you in. Someone also could have found out that they have like a past life connection with you as well. Or you could be coming into contact with a soulmate. Okay. Oh. The masculine is at the bottom of the deck. The emperor. Some of you could definitely be dealing with an Aries. Okay. Honor the masculine in your life. Somebody wants to honor you. Because look. They are yearning for you. Okay. <laughs> this person is like. Oh. Please. Please Libra. Or oh, this could be how you're feeling. Okay. Inner child healing. As well. And love your inner child. Children are definitely very significant here, or somebody wants to put a baby in you. Most definitely. Oh my goodness. But yeah, we got a we got a masculine. Okay, for the ladies. If you're a man watching this, you know, there's a divine feminine that you're looking at. Mm, mm, mm. Or you're with a divine feminine and divine masculine. You could be with your counterpart. Okay, so please clarify, don't let the waters run dry. What's going on, people? What's going on? Okay, so we've got connective nature and healing past that wanted to come up. I'm going to put that back. Because, you know, past energies are always coming up. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> the divine was like, I, I said what I said, okay? <laughs> so someone from your past wants to heal a situation with you, okay? Sexual healing I'm hearing as well. Also, again, this could represent vulnerability because he's naked. And his head is a little bit bigger than his body. So I feel like someone had a big ego here. And I feel like they've been put right back down to size, okay? Someone also has been watching you for a period of time. Again, there could be, um, I'm hearing divine timing or a past life connection here, okay? Also, you could be healing your past, which is bringing, bringing you in new love, okay? But somebody wants to get serious here. Also, somebody could have definitely been very immature, and, you know, they've probably connected with their ancestors or they reflected on their life. Maybe um, they were following the footsteps of their dickhead father. Who fucking knows, okay? But somebody wants to step up now. Oh, God, do they? Do they really? Okay, I told you, somebody's watching you from the shadows, watching you take care of yourself. Please clarify, express yourself. Oh, positive future. Gorgeous. Negative talk at the bottom of the deck. That's my see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil card. But somebody literally wants to come knocking at your door. So somebody might come to your home. Somebody wants to let you know that they see you um, in their future. They want to have a positive future with you. Like you are, I'm just hearing the abundance to my life. The sweet waters, the paradise. Like literally, like somebody wants, wants somebody could want to, want to marry you. As well, and you could be very confused. Like, do I want to get married at this time? Do I do I want to have a commitment? I don't know. I'm also hearing someone's trying to lock you down with a baby so that they feel like that's their way of entrapping you so you can't go anywhere. <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot, okay? Been there. That shit ain't gonna work. The divine feminine is in control of her own body. The divine feminine, not the toxic female, okay? And then we've got a healing environment. Did I not say... Some of you have got a healing sacred space. Whether that's your yoni, whether it's your home in general, okay? That Venusian energy, somebody wants to come all up in your home, okay? For some of you, abundance is definitely coming. You're definitely connecting with um, 
someone who you're supposed to be with this is really beautiful they see you shining definitely could be dealing with a leo as well or a fire sign does not have to be but all is already within you for some of you you could be like using mother nature to kind of call in love as well so that's really gorgeous and then we've got power of the mind gorgeous so you're definitely heavily on somebody's mind here someone has definitely awakened to the connection we've got mother earth healing thoughts so empress energy all over this okay mother nature all over this so again some of you definitely are parents of some kind okay meditation and love i told you someone is thinking about you heavy 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 i'm also hearing somebody's looked at something from a different perspective okay but again with that maturity and that mind power here okay you could be dealing with like a boss like an a proper emperor like somebody who um has their own business of some kind so somebody also could want to create um i'm hearing artwork with you or music or collaborate in some way so some of you might meet somebody um during work or some sort of work or some kind i don't know some project all right please clarify healing please clarify healing well reunion clicked right on this Somebody from the past wants to reconcile. I told you. Someone's stalking you, man. It's always the past lover. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, romance and groom wanted to come. I told you somebody wants to map. Did I not say some of you, somebody wants to marry you? For some of you, you could be in a marriage already and in a commitment. And like I said, you need to spice up the romance within your life. For others of you, someone is looking at you as someone who they they want to be with they're like this is my future i need to let this person know this person could be healing from their own past issues as well okay somebody might have two choices so someone from the past might come and then someone new might come and then you're just like okay well who the fuck do i choose who do i choose who who is it you know because you know we've got green and we've got romance here so it's just like hella men what's going on what's going on and commitment oh all right what is coming towards libras right well that's two cards i just want one thanks spirit sweet kiss when i meet somebody i'm hearing i want to lick you up and down do you say stop let me play okay yeah <laughs> We got forgiveness and healing at the bottom of the blood clark deck with choices and decisions because you know why you're self-abundant so you're just thinking like do i really want to for some of you if you're already in connections there's a lot of forgiveness and healing that has to go on but you've got a big decision to make okay also somebody likes your titties oh and this is what they want to do oh my goodness let's go told you i felt the sexual energy guys okay but like i said you're very healing healing to the touch i feel like when someone is in your presence or when they just touch you they're just like mm. <laughs> honestly i understand that i understand that power libras we're the empress you know i i get it it's just when you got a universal yoni you know people be going wild it is what it is okay so what's coming towards my beautiful <laughs> My Libras. Okay, the cards always want to fly all the way. Oh, we got the five of wands. Okay, so you could have deaded some shit. There could have been a third party situation. You see how angry she looks? She's like, listen, I ain't about the games. Okay, this person, this is why this person wants to come now. They want to heal the situation. What do we have at the bottom? Yeah, six of cups. Somebody from the blood club part. What's going on? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I put you through. I'm sorry for making you an option. I'm sorry. Please, please, give me, give me a chance. And you're just like, I don't really know. So for some of you, you're just, when it comes to the past, you're like, nah, mate, I'm done. For others of you, somebody wants to fight for you. Or there's a lot of competition within the relationship or a lot of arguments, okay? What the fuck is going on? Oh, the two of pentacles and the two of wands, definitely a decision, Okay. And then we've got the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely a choice between love here. Interesting, it was in this row where there's two cards that came up. And it's twos here. And you see the Libra scale? So you're trying to balance out. You could be really thinking about, you know, 
should I just focus on my money and my kids and my home life or whatnot? Or, you know, what decision should I make? But whatever decision you're going to make is going to be a good one because the two of ones represents a positive decision towards your future, okay? So for some of you, you're just like, I'm out and I'm going a different direction, okay? For some of you, you're walking right into a partner. So there's definitely um, an element of choice here, okay? But I feel like you need to weigh the pros and the cons. Also, somebody wants to do the right thing and they want to express something to you. It could be about juggling you or... I don't motherfucking know. It's kind of like I'm hearing I choose you. All right, what's coming towards my beautiful Libras? Yeah, beautiful energy. We've got the Eight of Pentacles and then we've got... Why is this flipped over the world? So a cycle has definitely ended. Someone definitely wants a new chapter with you. But yeah, I feel like you ghosted somebody to really focus on yourself, okay? And you're going to be receiving a lot of success. Someone now sees you looking cute and looking pretty. So this is particularly for people from the past, okay? This is you focusing on yourself and working on yourself. You see the Eight of Pentacles, like, she's got herself like this, like, mm, you know? And she's got that love, that self-love there. So, you know, you're healing. Someone sees this, they want to heal with you. Someone also wants to work on the relationship. They want to let you know, like, it'll be different this time. I'm, I'm promising you. I've healed myself, please. I don't want these other bitches no more. I just heard, well, we'll see about that. Okay. So, please clarify the five of ones. Also, there is no competition. So, obviously, this is new love coming, which, you know... I don't think it is, but if it is, you you dead out all the competition. Like there is no comparison to you. Of course not. You can't compare yourself to the Empress. <laughs> I don't know why people think they <sighs> you know what? Let's just not even get into that. They're not ready for it, okay? We got justice. What did I did I not just say there is no competition when it comes to the Empress? I said what I said, okay? You beat out the motherfucking competition. Also, this is your justice. To have new love, to have new financial gains, okay? Also, again, somebody wants to make it right. Somebody wants to apologise. Oh, some of you could be going through like a court or a legal situation with the person. Or this could be somebody that you're married to or already in a relationship with. Now they want to fight for the, the relationship. <laughs> okay. But right, okay, please clarify the two. Okay, what have we got? we got the Six of Pentacles here. So, yeah, this person wants to give and take. But you see, she's like, nah, I'm not sharing my wealth with you. And this person's like, please, please, I told you. Like, begging energy. Now this person wants to, they're thinking about their, I feel like someone is really thinking about their future. And they're thinking about their past decisions. Okay, like, somebody wants to settle down now. Right, okay. Please clarify the Eight of Pentacles. we got the Page of Swords. I told you, someone has been watching you. Could have been watching you on your social media as well. They're watching you working on yourself. Someone is definitely investigating you, okay? This is immature um, communication, though, the Page of Swords. It's like someone who doesn't know how to, re like, to reach out. They'll just stand and stalk instead of talk. That, that shit fucking annoys me. Also, this is you researching on how to love yourself, okay? Getting that knowledge up. Spiritual knowledge, I just heard. Why are all the cards... um? turned over like this beautiful nine of cups you're definitely someone's wish fulfillment and you're also getting your heart's desires okay and again with the seven of cups behind so a lot of confusion and illusion but like i said you are the option now and if you were an option somebody who you ghosted or ghosted you now they want to come back now they're all confused now they're dealing with someone who's juggling them oh well i just heard all right let's see if we've got time that was real quick thank you to me, you are perfect. I told you. Somebody sees you as perfection. The Eight of Pentacles can represent that as well. Virgo energy there. They rule the perfectionists. Like perfectionists. So it's kind of like somebody who does exquisite work. The, the Page of Pentacles. But yeah, karmic ties at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, you had to cut some sort of karmic tie. Or something karmically had to play out here and had to occur. And like I said before, someone's definitely going through their karma. So they're learning a lot of lessons. For some of you, losing you was this person's lesson. Oh, well. What can I say? I feel like you're onto bigger and better things. The name of these two were written in the stars next to each other a long time ago. Gorgeous energy. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. So somebody is definitely praying to the stars about you. For some of you, definitely had a past life connection. For some of you as well, you're encountering someone who you're really supposed to be with. 
okay? For others of you, I don't know because I, I don't really feel like there's reconciliation here. Someone wants to reconcile with someone. For some of you, there will be a new cycle. So if you're wishing for reconciliation or you're wishing to start over with someone from your past, that's going to happen. If you're wishing for someone new or you want to just be single and abundant until a real man or a real woman comes into your life, that's going to come too. But I think for some of you, you definitely need to heal from the past and forgive and let go. And there's definitely an element of choices and decisions here, okay? You'll know what that means to you. If we got time for one more affirmation, otherwise if it cuts out, that's the end of the reading. Okay, that was real quick. Thank you, Spirit. I have done enough. I do not seek drama or allow it around me. I am guarding my peace at all costs. So yeah, for some of you, you're just like, ugh, you're just not dealing with the fuckery anymore. It's like, if, there, if it's not an emperor, we don't want it. If it's not an empress, we don't want it. If they're not on the same as vibration as you, we don't want it. Because you know what will happen? Do you really want to be going? Ask yourself. Okay, thank you so much. If you enjoyed the reading, please do not hesitate to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Toodles!